now if we explain to me in a simple language ie tu sasa si ni wananchi hapa in a simple language how you can deliver 18% per annum this 18% you guys keep talking about if we explain to us okay mm -hmm. so lin it looks complex but it's actually very simple mm. and i like to use 100,000 as an example because it's the minimum that the securities regulation allow you to offer in a private product anything below 100,000 it has to be approved by the regulator before you distribute 100,000 and above i can come to you and offer so we put 100,000 at the minimum so if you have 100,000 and you put it in a bank today mm -hmm. you'll get almost nothing for it i go borrow that same 100,000 mm -hmm. i will need to pay all in cost of capital of 14 to 18%. In fact, in some cases, um, all the way up to 20, 21%. And if you want to know the actual cost of credit, go to a website set up by Kenya Bankers Association. It, it's called costofcredit.co.ke. Mm -hmm. You just put in the parameters and it tells you here's the cost of capital. So you have 100,000, you give it to a bank, I go borrow it for development, I pay 18%. That is the typical Kenyan transaction. Now, there's another st structured transaction, and we call it structured because we are going to structure out the bank. Instead of you giving the 100,000 to the bank and getting nothing for it, and then I go borrow it from the bank and I pay 18, we can also create, quote unquote, our own private bank between you and I, mm -hmm and create it in accordance with the relevant regulation, which is called private offers. So that instead of me borrowing the money and paying the 18% to the bank, I borrow it directly from you. And I pay you that 18%. Why would I want to do that? I move faster, right? Why would you want to do that? You get a better return. So it is the same developer. I can pay the 18% to the bank, or I can pay it to you through CHYS. You are the same depositor. You can give the 100,000 to the bank and get nothing for it, or you can give it to CHYS and get 18%. Mm -hmm. That is how we've been able to raise over 10 billion shillings through this CHYS. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing magical about the 18%. And you know what is interesting? When the bank receives 18%, it's called interest income. You know, They are charging a borrower of a loan 18% is mm -hmm. interest income. The interest income is from the same 100,000 you lent to a bank. When you are getting that same, same 18%, it's like, oh, that's too high. It looks like a pyramid scheme. Why? It is the same interest that the developer is paying. When it's being paid to a bank, it's in interest income. When it's being paid to you through CHYS, then it's a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. I mean, people need to take a step back and really ask themselves, why is it that in this economy, banking markets receiving 18% occupy 99% of business funding? These alternative structures mm -hmm. are only restricted to that 1%. Mm -hmm. Now, I would look at, you know, you know when you want to... Uh, when you want to push down a product, when you want to push down an initiative, one of the tactics is to, to use derogatory words, mm -hmm. like it could be a pyramid scheme. Yes. One of the, the tactics is to, is to issue um, illegal directives, like we've seen issued uh, to us uh, recently. Mm -hmm. So those are tactics to try and make sure alternative capital markets don't grow as big as they're supposed to grow. Mm -hmm. In well-functioning economies, Banks, 40% of funding. Capital markets, 60% of funding. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, banks are 99% of funding. Capital markets, 1%. Why? Because of things like, oh, if it's paying the same rate directly to you, then it's a pyramid scheme. If it's paying that same rate to the bank, then it's interest income. Mm -hmm. It is the same 18%. So it's up to Kenyans to decide, do I want the bank to lend my money for me, which is fine. It, you will wake up knowing very well that 
tomorrow I'll find it. There's oversight from central bank, but again, that's not quite true. Go mm -hmm. ask the people who put money in Imperial, mm -hmm. Imperial Bank. So do I want to give the bank my money, 100,000? They lend it out and they collect the 18%. They give me almost nothing for it. Or do I want to work with CHYS? Where I and also get to earn something from my money. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So th those are the choices that we are putting before Kenyans. It's, it's for Kenyans to then decide. It's very discomforting to the establishment. Um, and that's understandable. When, when equity came, it's not like the established bank just said, yeah, you come and participate in the banking sector with us. It was fought over a period of time until it got to sit on the table. When M-Pesa came, there was a time that it, it was even shut down yes. uh, by the banking sector. Now it is the most preferred mode of, trans of, of um, transferring cash. Mm -hmm. The alternative we are putting before Kenyans is we think you can get a better return for your money. We, you can lend it out yourself directly, look at these projects and decide if you want to lend out and get the interest income by yourself or give it to a bank, which is a legitimate transaction. We have no issues. In fact, we have no issues with the banking sector. Let them make as much money as they want. Mm -hmm. But the banking sector should also let capital markets be independent and make as much money as it wants mm -hmm. so that the Kenyan consumer has choice. They can decide, do I put my money into government bonds? Do I put it into bank savings? Or oh. do I put it into capital markets? Mm -hmm. All these noises you see is nothing but a way to constrain the growth of capital markets for the benefit of the banking sector. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the constraining, so to speak, is being done by actors of the banking sector who have essentially taken control of the capital market sector. Mm -hmm. That is the way I see it, but it's up to Kenyans to actually look at the arrangement of financial markets and ask themselves, is this a fair arrangement? I think it's unfair. Mm -hmm.